previously on Mind Your Language at CVSS. Yeah, don't worry. I teach Wen Jie for you. Wen Jie, say, may I? Please, go to the toilet. Yeah, I think some first one. You see, we told him to use proper English, but why didn't he listen? Now I have to revise him, give him first aid, and teach him proper English. What a headache. How can I? Last time, matter how tall they are because of us, but how will surely improve. You know why? Because our brilliant exams are here. If don't study, just see care of your own. So as for now, we will all give home you to Madam Pao. No, medicated oil to Madam Pao, and we will all go and study now. Oh, sorry, I know I'm late. But I hope you all had lunch. Okay, let's begin. So, thank you all of you for coming. Today's agenda will be focusing on what we're going to do for our teachers on Teachers' Day. So, it should be easy. Uh, but then we can just recite poem for the teachers or they just go on stage to sing song or whatever. Oh, okay. Why don't you do a demonstration for us? I'm sure we all want to see your spectacular performance. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Miss Lee. During English, you talk like honey. If I speak Singlish, I must pay money. Even when you are angry, you still look very pretty. And even though I'm very hairy, you are the type that I want to marry. Oh, no, no, no. Ernst, the words are not appropriate and the tone is not correct. I'm afraid Miss Lee will be most horrified at the so-called declaration of admiration. You're so good and you do yourself out. Why ask a, a small fry to do NATO only? Hey, Ernst, what's NATO? NATO? N-A-T-O. No action, talk only. Relax, Ernst. Okay, since we all have the materials here today, I think it would be a good idea to pen down all our thoughts on nicely decorated cars. So do you think that's a good idea? How about that? Okay, okay. But next time round, try to com we must try to converse in proper English. Don't forget what we learned in Mind Your Language episode 1. Must watch, ah. Uh. Hello once again, CVSS. Today we have a very special guest with us, Dr. Kwan, a professor in the art of cryptology. Now, cryptology is the discipline that studies the use of nonsensical words. And it's a great honor for us to have Dr. Kwan with us. He has a few things to say about today's episode. Thank you, Mr. An. In the scene earlier, it is evident that the word Abden is, uh, gained, has gained much popularity in our country. Mm -hmm. Many Singaporeans uh, have been very creative in the use of this word. We now have many variations such as Abden, Abden, and the list goes on. Actually, it's a little similar to practicing Tai Chi. You should go slow and steady. The actual way of saying it should be Ah! But then, what about you? How do you say it? Wow! Thank you, Dr. Kwan. Well, that concludes today's episode of Mind Your Language CVSS. Now remember, to tune into our previous episodes, you just simply need to go to the respective link. For today, we thank Dr. Kwan. Thank you, Mr. No problem, no problem. Okay, and we will see you soon. Goodbye. Bye.